SKLM is currently celebrating their centenary with a new special livery on a Dreamliner. We can look back at this special livery, which they to date are still flying with. Welcome to a new episode of Review, where we'll take a closer look at a Boeing 777-300ER from Dodge Carrier KLM. As always, we have the cutout in the front so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside, and we have the KLM branding on top of the box. On the back side of the box, we then have a very nice close-up image of the aircraft itself. Underneath that, we also have a web link by Harper where we can get more information. So there she is, the Boeing 777-300ER in the orange pride livery of KLM. KLM first teased this livery at the King's Day celebrations in the Netherlands in 2015 and then put it on the aircraft along with the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. And since then, the aircraft has been flying around in these colors representing the Netherlands. Now, with no further ado, let's take a look at some of the many details this aircraft model has to offer. And we start off with the tail section on the aircraft. Here we find on the vertical stabilizer the iconic KLM branding. On the fuselage, we then find the aircraft type specification, the flag of the European Union, the flag of the Netherlands, the full registration code of the aircraft, and of course, the company slogan, the Flying Dutchman. Moving on to the front of the aircraft, we can of course see that this livery is an adaptation of the standard Dolphin livery that KLM currently has has but instead of having the light blue coloring going all the way to the front it transforms into this nice orange also a very cool little detail is that the a dark blue line across the fuselage is actually transforming into the colors of the dutch flag and then of course we also have the klm branding once more and underneath that we have the name of the aircraft at the very front of the aircraft we actually have the sky team logo underneath that we have the air france klm group logo and we also have some nice detailing at the cockpit windows some nice markings around the windows we have the window wipers printed on and the last two letters of the registration code we can find just above the cockpit windows the engine nacelles have been kept in all white but do carry the klm logo and are also quite decently detailed for example here we can see at the back side that looks pretty decent i think and of course also when we take a look at the front we can see into the engines where we find the engine fan blades also the wings are worth taking a look at here we can see the top side where we have all the different flaps slats and spoilers carved out very nicely we also have the markings for the emergency exits on them and we have this uh, white black line that is a, a reference for the pilots as to where the outer markings of the main landing gear is so that's very cool also the under the side is a pretty decently detailed where we find the full registration code of the aircraft once again talking about the main landing gear we can also quickly take a look at that that does look quite nicely in my opinion and also the front landing gear is uh, quite nicely detailed although we could of course have a few markings printed on here and there but unfortunately we only get that with HEPA club models and then last but certainly not least we also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here and the back side of the aircraft and here at the front side of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 777-300ER in the orange pride livery of KLM. And it is, of course, a very nice aircraft model. I think there are only two things that we should really mention. Now, the print quality overall is excellent, but of course, the transition from light blue to orange is a difficult one and you can see in the print that uh, Harper has been struggling a little bit here the transition from the orange side into the blue seems quite fine but we do have a distinct line from the blue side which I don't think is uh, quite so nice the other issue of course with all 777 aircraft models from Harper Wings in scale 1 to 500 are the engines they look nice but they are not true to scale in any way they're kind of deformed when you look at an real-life aircraft of the 777 you would see that the engines don't really match up. But despite that, I think it is a very nice aircraft model to have in one's collection. With that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then smash that like button. That would be very much appreciated. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any future reviews. And with that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.